Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and this is part 9 of practical problems in respect of CMA final group 4 paper 18. Okay, so first problem is that Mr. Rahim is a dealer who is selling taxable goods, exempted goods and non-taxable goods that is liquor. His turnover in the preceding financial year is 35 lakhs, 10 lakhs and 15 lakhs goods which are liable to GST, exempted and non-taxable respectively. Whether Mr. Rahim is eligible for composition scheme. As we know, Mr. Rahim will not be eligible, not eligible for composition scheme as he is de dealing in non-taxable goods that is liquor. If a person is dealing in non-taxable goods then composition scheme is not available or person cannot go for composition scheme. Next Mr. H registered in Hyderabad who is selling goods from Telangana to Tamil Nadu. Turnover of Mr. H is 73 lakhs in the preceding financial year whether Mr. H is eligible for composition. Whether your answer will change if Mr. H is making purchases. Okay, in first thing he is selling the goods, in second one he is making purchases from Tamil Nadu and selling goods in Telangana. So please note that composition scheme is not available when person is making inter state supply. So composition scheme is not available in this case. Mr. H registered in Hyderabad and selling goods from Telangana to Tamil Nadu. So it is treated as a interstate supply and when person is doing interstate supply, he is not eligible for composition scheme. Now second question, whether your answer will change if Mr. H is making purchases from Tamil Nadu and selling goods in Telangana. So he is making purchases which is interstate Please note that there is no restrictions on purchase of goods from interstate The person is still eligible for composition scheme So if Mr. H is making interstate purchases then he is eligible for composition scheme whether in first case he is making outward supply or selling the material on interstate basis that is why he is not eligible for composition scheme and whereas in the second case he is making interstate purchases so for composition there is no restriction on interstate purchases Next turnover of Mr. X in the preceding financial year was rupees 49 lakhs. Mr. A has opted for composition scheme during the year on 18th Feb 2020. Turnover of Mr. X is 1.5 crore which is the limit of composition scheme. You can be in composition scheme if your turnover is up to up to 1.5 crores. In this case, it is exceeding on 18th of Feb 2020. What compliances are required to carry by Mr. X? So first thing, Mr. X is to file number one, file composition that is CMP 04 within 7 
days after he is becoming eligible to opt out from composition so that is his turnover is exceeding on 18th feb 2020 so 7 days so he has to submit on or before 25th of feb 2020 cmp04 so jo bhi form composition scheme ke liye comply karna hai unka short form hai cmp se start hota so that means it is to be used for composition then next he has to do mr x has to submit a form gst itc 01 within 30 days when he is liable to be opt out from composition that is before on or before 20th march 2020 this form is required for this form is required for availing availing itc input tax credit in respect of in respect of stock and capital goods because he will have to go for normal gst payment scheme and that is why whatever the material which is in stock and on capital goods he is eligible for itc so these two compliances mr x has to done that is number 1 file cmp04 within 7 days okay from the date when he is becoming liable to opt out from composition scheme that is from 18th feb 2020 so 7 days is on or before 25th of feb and next file form gst itc01 within 30 days that is 20th march 2020 to avail input tax credit in respect of stock and capital goods okay so next problem is messrs x private limited is a manufacturer having two units namely unit a in andhra pradesh and another unit b in tamil nadu total turnover of two units in last financial year was rupees 95 lakhs total turnover of two units in the second quarter of this financial year second quarter of this financial year means current financial year was rupees 15 lakhs 5 lakhs of unit a and 10 lakhs of unit b applicable rate of cgst 9% SGST 9% find the net tax liability of X private limited note messrs X private limited is not availing input tax credit see this kind of problem you have to read it twice and understand first before jump to a solution because the catch here is that messrs x private limited is not availing input tax credit since they are not availing input tax credit so they can go for composition scheme and since they are a manufacturer so for composition scheme for manufacturer the gst rate is 0.5% plus 0.5% that is 0.5% cgst plus 0.5% sgst now the turnover of the two units in the second quarter okay 5 lakhs for unit a this is a 
and 10 lakhs of unit B. So CGST rate is 0.5%. So it will be 2500 is CGST and SGST is also 2500 and next for unit B it is rupees 10 lakhs so again it will be 0.5 percent it will be 5000 CGST and 5000 SGST <coughs> so total liability and net liability for unit A would be rupees 5000 and for unit B it would be 10,000 please note that why they can go for composition scheme because X limited is not availing input tax credit when a manufacturer is not availing input tax credit they can definitely go for composition scheme provided they satisfied the condition and one of the condition is that the turnover should not be more than 150 lakhs or 1.5 crores in this case the turnover was 95 lakhs so they are eligible for composition scheme next is Mr. Riju, registered in Himachal Pradesh, is engaged in making interstate outward supplies of apparel. So he is making interstate supplies. That means he is selling goods or making supplies out of Himachal Pradesh to another states. The aggregate turnover of Mr. Riju in the financial year 17-18 is rupees 70 lakhs. He opted for composition levy in the year 1819 and paid tax for the quarter ending June 18 under composition levy. The proper, proper officer has levied penalty on Mr. Riju in addition to the tax payable by him. You are required to examine the validity of the action taken by the proper officer so first of all mr riju is registered in himachal pradesh okay so himachal pradesh engaged in making interstate outward supply so he is doing inter state out word supply so he is not eligible for composition scheme so proper officer has asked to pay proper <coughs> or tax as normal person okay and as well as a penalty because as per the GST Act if any person is opting for composition scheme whereas he is not eligible for composition scheme then penalty equivalent to the normal tax can be levied on that person so the proper officer is correct in respect of penalty on Mr. Riju in addition to the tax payable by him. So the action taken by pro proper officer is correct. Okay, so next is Messrs. C Limited of Chennai being a trader provided the following information relating to the preceding 
financial year okay so this data is of preceding financial year ya last year ka ye data hai intrastate supply taxable goods rupees 20 lakhs intrastate supply of exempted goods 30 lakhs intrastate supply of taxable service 5 lakhs intrastate outward supply of services on which recipient is liable to pay gst that is under rcm export of goods rupees 35 lakhs interstate inward supply please note that this is inward supply of goods 200 lakhs cgst and sgst paid rupees 2 lakh message c limited is eligible for composition scheme in the current financial year or not that we have to find out so for composition scheme number 1 turnover should not be more than 1.5 crores or 150 lakhs in the preceding financial year services should not be 10% of total turnover or rupees 5 lakhs whichever is more and person should not be doing inter state supply so first let us check the turnover now calculation total turnover or gross turnover so first is intra state supply of taxable goods 20 lakhs yes this will be added for calculation of total turnover okay so 20 lakhs In, intra state supply of exempted goods 30 lakhs yes that is to be added intra state supply of taxable services 5 lakhs yes that is to be added 5 lakhs intra state outward supply under rcm okay so this is also to be taken next is <coughs> export of goods rupees 35 lakhs that is to be added inter state inward supply of goods since this is inward so that will not be treated or taken for calculation of gross turnover and cgst sgst that also not to be taken for calculation of aggregate turnover so total turnover 20 plus 30 50 55 60 90 and 94 lakhs in the previous year so first condition is satisfied now services should be 10% of total turnover or rupees 5 lakhs whichever is more so he has given <coughs> services of 5 lakhs plus 4 lakhs so total service is given of 9 lakhs this is a total of these two 5 and 4 so total is 9 lakhs now what is the percentage of service total service is given divided by total turn over so it is less than 10% okay it is less than 10% so this condition is also satisfied that services should be 10% or rupees 5 lakhs whichever is more now third condition person should not be doing inter state supply okay let us check intra state supply of taxable goods so that is okay 
intrastate supply of exempted goods that is also okay intrastate supply of taxable services that is also okay intrastate outward supply that is also okay now export of services export of services is export of services is treated as a inter state supply okay so since message c limited is doing exports which is treated as a interstate supply and hence condition number 3 is not satisfied and the answer is mr c is not eligible for composition scheme in the current financial year though the turnover is below 1.5 crores ya 150 lakhs and services also are within the limit that is 10% of the total turnover however they are not eligible for composition scheme as they are doing the exports and exports is treated as a inter state supplies thanks for watching please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel that is cma manish khera thank you very much